good morning. It is Saturday, June 7th. Yes, yeah, the 7th. It's early in the morning. It's about 8.30. I took Biscuit outside. Um, today, I don't plan on doing much at all because, like, I don't feel good at all. Like, I've been sick since, like, Wednesday, and I don't know what is going on. Like, I feel so, so nauseated. Like, it's just absolutely terrible. Um, I think it may be from my tap water, but I'll explain that. Because, um, as you may or may not know, like from my skincare journey, let me move the camera here. From my skincare journey video, I was letting you guys know that I was going to drink at least a half a gallon of water a day. So that's what I was doing. So once um, I emptied my jug from the water that, you know, I bought from the store, I refilled it with um, tap water. And I've never drank water out my tap before, so that would have been the first time me doing that. So I refilled my jug, stuck it in the fridge. Next day, which would have been Wednesday, you know, I started drinking. And of course, tap water tastes totally different anyways than, you know, drinking water that you buy out of the store. It smelled like really, like it tasted really chlorinated. So I was like, well maybe nothing's wrong because I'm just not used to drinking tap water it's gonna automatically taste different <sighs> got halfway through the day Wednesday and I felt sick to my stomach like it was just horrible and I'm that's what I'm chalking it up to is the water because like I didn't eat anything different I didn't do anything different the only thing different was I drank the water from the tap and I've been feeling horrible ever since I've been extremely nauseated having like hot and cold flashes um like I know it's TMI but like diarrhea like it's been absolutely horrible for since like Wednesday and it's Saturday and I woke up this morning just like sweating and like my stomach and knots and I'm like oh my gosh um, I've been drinking apple juice because that seems like the only thing I can drink that settles my stomach a little bit. That doesn't make me feel so bad because I can't drink anything else. Like, I started feeling a little bit better yesterday. So, I went to Starbucks and got a Frappuccino. I couldn't even drink the whole thing. And I knew something was wrong. And if I couldn't drink my s'mores Frappuccino, I was kind of upset. And I was like, oh, my gosh. So, right now, i just been drinking nothing but apple juice because that's the only thing that seems to be able to settle my stomach. Sorry, it's like a bug in my house. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so, that's what I'm chalking it up to. That's what I'm assuming it is. So, I haven't drank any water since just to give my stomach some time to, like, settle or, you know, get over what this is. And right now, I feel horrible. So, just drinking ap apple juice and hoping that it gets better soon because I don't like feeling sick because... It just ruins my whole mood and day because I've been cranky for like the past three days. So it's been rough. And this past week has been rough, period, anyways. So let me rant for a minute. <laughs> so, or let me vent or whatever. Like, as you know, I am a military wife. My husband is in the Army. He's currently you know, AIT training in Fort, um, Fort Lee. And he'll be graduating in two weeks. So, yeah, the 19th is when he'll officially leave Fort Campbell. So, his original orders said that we have to report to Fort Campbell did I say Fort Campbell, That where he's at now? He's at Fort Lee now. He has to report to Fort Campbell um, for his next duty station. But anywho, like his first orders, before they gave him the hard copy, he was able to look at it online at some website, I guess some special site or something. But his original order said our report, or his report date was July 27th. And I'm like, okay, that gives me time. I had put my notice and everything at work. I told Lisa in the office, 
got all that done. Come Wednesday, and that was probably part of my stress too that probably made me sick. Come this past Wednesday, when he gets his original hard copies of his orders, his orders say June 20th. I'm like, it say what? Mind you, this was on Wednesday, so that was June 4th. So I'm like, so in 16 days, <laughs> you have to report to Fort Campbell in 16 days. I'm like, oh, M G like I just started freaking out I was like I don't have time so with our complex um any military like if you have to move because of military you have to give at least a 30-day notice if you move out before then you're still responsible financially for those days so I'm like oh my gosh so I had to rush to the leasing office after I got off work to make sure I got there on time to give them the notice, give them a 30-day notice. So 30 days from the 4th is the is July 4th. So I'm like, oh, my Jesus. So I will be here in, like, I'll be here still in Georgia um, until July 3rd because the 4th is a holiday and they're closed there. So, you know. My official last day would be the third. Luckily, they do give him 10 days leave. So he's going to take his leave to come back here to, you know, take care of business and all that stuff. So I've been just stressed out because, like, you know, I was going to give us time. Like, I thought we had, you know, enough time because we were just, you know, casually looking for places, rent, like looking for houses and stuff to rent. And I was like, okay, so when you get home, we can, you know, go to the, um, look at houses and stuff. And I'm like, we don't have time to do that now. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to rent a house because we don't have enough time to do so. Because, and then plus the real estate agent that we were working with is extremely slow about responding. Like I will send him an email today. He won't respond back until the next day. And then I'll respond back immediately to, immediately to the email he sent me. And I still wouldn't get a response until the next day. And I'm like, evidently you don't want to sell because you're taking way too long to respond back. And like, I'm telling you my, my, my date deadlines and you're not doing anything about it. So, um, excuse me, but to hell with him. Like, um, uh, we went online looking at townhouses cause we really don't want to stay in apartments per se, because, we really don't want anyone living above us or below us because like we're in that situation now and the people above us now are absolutely horrible. So that's one thing I'm looking forward to moving away from here is that I don't have up and downstairs neighbors. So my town, like the townhouse that um, we like and I actually sent off in the application to apply for and everything. It's really nice. You know how townhouses are, you know, you have people on the sides of you, but not necessarily, you know, up and down. And it's really nice. It's a two-bedroom, two-bath, if I'm not mistaken. Really, really nice um, from the pictures. So I'm hoping that, you know, the pictures match the actual property. So that's the only thing I don't like about, you know, having to rent out of state because it's actually going to be in Tennessee. So we're actually going to be living in Tennessee, even though, the base is technically in Kentucky, but it's on the t Kentucky Tennessee border and it's not that far. But anywho, yeah, so it's really, really nice according to the picture. So I'm hoping the pictures match the actual property. So right now we're like blind renting. So that's the only thing I don't like about, you know, it being so far. It's not like I can just be like, oh, okay, let me drive up here and see the property. Like it is six hours away from here. So. I'm not driving six hours to go see a property for like maybe 30, 40 minutes, an hour at the max. But yeah, like it's, I, I just can't do that. <laughs> so yeah, like we're like this whole week has been last minute trying to get things done, situated, everything set in stone. Like it's just been a lot and my stress level has been on 10 because I had to change my notice at work. 
I know my manager was stressed out with me because like he was kind of acting a little sh like a little cold towards me. I'm like, look, I know you're frustrated and everything's happening so fast, but you know this is beyond my control right now. Like I understand your frustration, but you can't hold it against me. It's not my fault. Like I have to go where my husband goes. Like it's not like I can stay here because they're not gonna pay um, for housing. For me to stay here and for him to be there. Like, they're not going to do it. So, it's just been a mess. <laughs> it has been a mess. And then, it's like, I still have to find employment once I get there. But, luckily, the rent is a whole lot cheaper than what we're paying here now. So, that will give us a little extra money to kind of, like, cover my portion of the bills that I pay and whatever other bills that I have myself until I can find employment which shouldn't be too long but it's really hard applying for things now because um usually um places respond within a few days and then they want you to come in like the following day or the following week and it's like I can't do that right now so you know, it's, it's just a lot. And then I still have to be, because I'm a pharmacy technician, so I have to be licensed in Tennessee. And I really can't do that until I move there because the whole application product process and all the stuff you have to do is just a lot. So, yeah, it's been a lot going on this past week. So, yeah, I'm really starting to see the life of being in the military because I need to get because, like, me, personally, I don't like last-minute things. And it just seems like and it, everything that has happened since he's been in the military has been, like, last-minute. So I guess I'm going to have to get used to that, used to last-minute things and making plans. Like, <sighs> it's, it's, it's a mess. But, yeah, luckily, you know, after I had my little minor breakdown because, like, my, like, my nerves were shot. <laughs> My nerves were shot. I was just all over the place. And luckily, you know, my friend, she's also a military wife. She kind of calmed me down a little bit and was like, look, I understand what you're going through. You're stressed. But, you know, you got to, you know, get you cried out a little bit and then put your big girl panties on and go handle business. And, you know, I broke, I had my little, my little mental break for that one day. And I put my big girl panties on and handle business. So... I actually have mostly everything done. Um, I overnighted the rental application so they can get it ASAP, so we can know something ASAP. Um, I'm hoping it gets approved. I don't see why it wouldn't, but you never know. But um, hopefully that gets approved and we can set dates and stuff with travel so they can pick up our furniture and move it for us and all and. Uh, you know, all of our other stuff. It's just a lot that's happening in such a short period of time. So it's going to be plenty to record because <laughs> everything is happening so fast. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's my rant and my vent. Um, I'll probably come back later. Like I said, I don't plan on doing anything today because I don't feel good. And, yeah, that's it. Hey guys, it's a little later on in the day. It's about 2.30 and yes, I look a mess. Like I still feel horrible. I even look worse than I did this morning. But like I need to eat something and I really don't have anything in the house right now. So I'm about to um, run to the um, grocery store right quick and just pick up a little something for me to eat for the weekend today and tomorrow or whatnot and See if I can hold it down because, like, I really do not feel good. Like, now, like, I'm starting to get, like, a like a headache. So, yeah, I'm just going to continue to rest for the rest of the day. After I get back from the grocery store and get something to eat. So, yeah, like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I just hope it gets better and gets better soon because I hate being sick. It sucks. So, yeah. I'm about to head out. I'm back home. Um, went to the grocery store and got something that was already prepared so I wouldn't have to stand up for too long over a hot stove and try to do it because I'm just not feeling it today. Like, I am so sick. And y'all know I'm extra cheap 
and I don't like turning my air on. I try to like stick it out, but for me feeling the way I am and it being so hot, like I had to turn my air on because I, I was sit like literally having like hot flashes, just sweating and it was just, it's just a lot and it didn't make the nausea any better. But yeah, had to break down and turn my air on y'all. I've been trying to keep my bill below $100. So for the past few months, it's been like between 60 and $70. So I've been winning, but right now at this point, like I don't care. And it's gonna be the last electric bill anyways that I'll have to pay for here since we're moving in a couple weeks. So yeah, I went to the grocery store and you know, got something that's already cooked, so I wouldn't have to cook it. But I went to Winn Dixie and stopped by the deli and like picked picked up some of their fried chicken, got like an eight piece fried chicken or whatnot. And then I picked up um, some macaroni salad. I love macaroni salad. It's like the bomb. I picked macaroni salad over potato salad. And I saw this. It's called Pistachio Delight. I've never tasted this before, but it looked interesting. Um, it says it's a pistachio. See, I can't even talk. A pistachio flavored dessert with pineapple, marshmallows, and almonds in a creamy dressing. So I'm like, well, that sounds pretty good because like it has everything that I like in it. So together maybe it'll taste great so yeah I'm about to fix my plate hopefully I can keep it down I haven't like thrown up or anything but it feels like it like it could just happen any moment but I'm gonna fix me a plate and sit down and try to eat as much as I can and then just lay down and relax cuz like I just feel awful like just awful i look awful and i feel awful so i don't know pray for me y'all